How's it going, everybody? Uh, it's Nick here, and uh, I just wanted to shoot a quick update video on the dugout. So uh, right now I'm about, I'm probably a little over 10 hours in the build total. Um, as you can see, by the amount of wood shavings and stuff. But uh, the log right now is blocked out. The top and the bottom are flattened. Uh, Lucy's out here inspecting my work. <clears throat> but uh, the top is a little more rough than the bottom is. Um, there's a little extra meat on the top anyway that, that I'm gonna go back with an ads and clean up. But uh, Mr. Dale came over today and uh, we scribed out the lines for our points on both ends and uh, got popped in their chalk line, made sure everything was lined up straight. We laid out everything. So tomorrow I'm gonna hook a chain hoist in the tree, hoist it up on the one side and I could make a couple cuts with the one man saw and uh, take my ax, clean it up, draw a knife, uh, and point the ends of my boat. Um, I've also started, I put a couple cuts in the end right here. Uh, I just started on this. The reason you, you know, you put in some, some, uh, like basically carve a bowl out on the end. And what that does, you know, as this tree's drying, that moisture's running to the end of the log and it loses, as it loses moisture, it the wood contracts and it and it pops apart. It pops a big crack. That's why you see a lot of logs have checks in the end. Bow staves do the same thing. You know. So what we gotta do is we gotta take the take a scoop of wood out, basically, so the moisture runs to right here and doesn't run out the end and crack the end. Because if it cracks the end, well, I'm not gonna say it ruin the boat, but it causes a lot of problems that we really don't want. So that's why I've dug it out, dug it out right here. Um, so just want to shoot a quick update. I'm probably going to do these uh, throughout the process. I'll probably do one tomorrow if I work on it. And just as I work on it, just kind of update and the amount of hours I've spent into it, uh, into chopping this thing. Um, so goal with this boat was to do it all with hand tools, all the way that they would have done it in the 1800s, just like the old French people. Um, we fell the tree with an axe and a cross cut saw and I've spent a lot of time squaring this log off with hand tools now I don't have every hand tool that they would have used but I'm basically using what I got so uh, the finished product is going to be what it's going to be but I'm very confident it's going to be a very good boat it's going to paddle really good and uh, it's going to be something I can be proud of stay tuned <laughs> 